What's up YouTube? Today on this video I'm going to show you guys how to put an AM PTFE aero clip fitting on an aftermarket PTFE high pressure racing hose. Let's dive right into this. We have some aluminum Russell wrenches here. This would be the 8 AM if you're going to be doing the 8 size, negative 8, but we're going to be doing the negative 6. adjustable wrench here, so we can do multiple sizes to hold the other side. You're going to need a metal cutoff, preferably an electric metal cutoff, we like this, so you can get the end securely viced down and cut it straight off. We've got our hose clamped down in the metal cutter. Let's go ahead and chop the end off here so we can start fresh. After you have your end of your hose cut off, you're ready to take apart your fitting. You put the back half of the fitting onto the hose first. Take this and slide it with the lip facing the hose and the threads facing the away from the hose. Got a little bit of just water here. Help it get on there. Add a little bit of lubrication. Little hoses, it slides on a little bit easier than the bigger ones. Slide it back about inch, inch and a half. Okay, now that we have the end all cut off, we have our female end of the air equip fitting slid in. We're going to take a 7 16 wrench. We're going to measure back on the hose. We're going to cut that much off so we can flare out the end and put our flare in there. Take that. We're only cutting the black nylon. For hoses that don't have this black nylon, like the Summit PTFE hoses, you shouldn't have to do this. This is just for the tech. Tech FX. Now we got that removed. It exposes the stainless steel braid. And we're gonna flare this end out so we can slide in our little ferrule here and marry these two together. We're back in the next clip. This is what your hose is going to look like after you've slid your end on and you got your, you got your end on and you got your black strap cut back. Now we're going to flare that stainless steel part out so we can slide our copper ferrule in there. So the easiest way i found to open up this stainless steel to be able to put the ferrule in there is just by taking a really small screwdriver, flat nose, and just working it around the outside of the Teflon. Just working it around the outside of the Teflon here and pulling back the stainless steel braid so you can create a well, about a quarter inch gap all the way around the plastic lining too, or the Teflon too. This is always the hard part because you take risk of stabbing your fingers with those little sharp ends, but just be careful. And after you do it a couple times, you're going to get way faster at these lines. The first time I did it, it took me about 20 minutes just to do one end line, one hose end. Now I can do them in about three minutes, if I'm not fully explaining. So, all right, now that we got it all opened up, that's what it should look like. 
focus in here real quick. So we got it all opened up. Part that flares down, you want to go towards the hose, so in like that. And I'll push until it's seated all the way down. So the Teflon seated inside to the lip of this copper ring, the copper ferrule. Once it is, then you're good. Sometimes I'll take it, I'll even press it on the vise. So I know it's, or the table or whatever you're working on, so you know it's nice and seated. Once you got your copper ferrule in there, got it all opened up, you can take your mail, end piece that's gonna seal inside of your line, I squirt a little bit of water on that just to give it some lubrication and go into the line. All right, you slide that on there and then you simply slide this other end, your female. Take it, pull it. Pull it up to where it's almost touching and I stop. Now what you're gonna wanna do is slide the female end that you've slid onto the hose first. Clamp that into your vise. In the beginning of the video I did mention you can take some aluminum angle iron and put some tape on it, stick it over your vise jaws, and that'll create a soft surface so you don't scratch your fitting. So now that you got your female tightened down, you're gonna simply pull the male onto the female threads. And you're just gonna turn it by hand. If it doesn't turn by hand, you can grab your adjustable wrench. And then just tighten your male end right into the female. You can hear the stainless steel ends being pulled and kind of making a crackling noise as your male end goes into the ferrule. Tighten her up nice and snug. Take your end out of your vise. And there you have your AeroQuip PTFE fitting ready to be tightened on either your power steering line. This one's going on my return line for my fuel system. If you guys are interested in any of this hose, go to techafx.com. You can get some of the line, or you can buy it from Summit. A little cheaper through Summit. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That'll have you guys making your own custom lines and not having to take them to anybody. Really sped up the process for me. I'm able to just order them, throw them together, throw them on my car. So until next time, peace out, YouTube. Bye-bye.